the cost cut by the neighbors. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name is Antonio Matuire and I own a 2017 BMW 340i. So in today's video, I actually got some real carbon fiber overlay. For those of you that have been following along with the build, you will know that previously I had wrapped my interior with this carbon fiber wrap. It looks decent, but nothing really compares to that real carbon fiber look. I got these carbon fiber overlays from Keys Motorsports. They have great customer service. The first batch of carbon carbon fiber overlays that they sent. One of the carbon fiber pieces was actually cracked. I sent them an email, let them know that one of the pieces was damaged. And without hesitation, they sent out another set of the carbon fiber overlay pieces. If you guys need some real carbon fiber overlay to put in the interior of your BMW, head over to keysmotorsports.com and check them out. They have a huge variety of items to choose from and great customer service is very hard to come by nowadays. But with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the carbon fiber pieces. All right, so overall, just taking a look at everything. It comes with these smaller ones for the side vents comes with this middle portion for the middle console area total of four door handles two for the front two for the rear and then as well as the center piece right up front and then just look at the quality of the carbon fiber looks really good so I am going to apply the 3M tape to the back side of all these pieces. Now me personally, I have to remove the trim on the interior just for the simple fact that it's wrapped. So I do have to remove it to get the wrap off before I can place this on. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tape on the back side of these pieces. I'm not gonna film any of that cause it's pretty self-explanatory, but once I get all of them taped up, I'll flip them over and show you guys how I did it. All right, so this is what the finished product is looking like. As you can see, you really just wanna make sure that you're taping it along the edges. So that way when you install the piece, um, it's not lifting upon any of the edges. So definitely make sure you get it right along the edge of all the pieces. I did end up having a lot of tape left over and I still do have some tape left over. So I went ahead and just started putting extra tape on all these pieces, like one down the middle and on these handle pieces. And this is kind of overkill on this one. But like I said, I had a lot of extra tape and I figured rather be safe than sorry. And in this case, I feel like more tape is better than less tape. So as long as it sticks and doesn't lift on any of the edges, then I'll be happy with it. But now that all those pieces are taped up, let's go ahead and get into the inside of the 340 and see if we can remove the wrap without having to remove all the trim pieces. So let's start with this piece right here. As you can see, the, the wrap was already starting to peel anyway. So, so like right here, it was already starting to peel anyway. Same with down here. It's starting to peel a little bit. So it looks like the wrap is coming off on the front side. But for those of you that um, know a little bit about wrapping, when you wrap it, you don't only wrap the surface, you kind of wrap behind it as well a little bit. So that's the kind of issue I'm running into right now is that the wrap is coming off on the front side, but it's kind of tearing from where I wrapped it on the back side, so I am gonna have to remove this to get the wrap off. Now that it's off, hanging like that, I should be able to reach around and get the wrap off from the back side. I think we're gonna be able to go ahead and just stick the trim right on top of this one. Go ahead and start peeling this one. All right, let's go ahead and get this on. So obviously you want to make sure that everything is lined up before you get it stuck on there. Because once it's on there, it's on there. All right, this one's on there. Everything uh, is pretty self-explanatory. I did have like some very slight fitment issues with this bottom portion right here. So what I ended up doing is just heating it up, the carbon fiber material with a heat gun. And then it's a little more flexible that way. Um, still have a little bit a fitment issues right here just could not get that to go probably continue to mess around with that try and make that perfect but for right now i'm just going to go ahead and do everything else so this middle console area as well as the door handles and the side vents 
on both sides. So everything's pretty straightforward from this point on, literally just taking off the trim pieces and removing the old wrap and then putting the overlay on top. So I probably won't do too much more talking. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a time lapse of everything else and catch up with you guys in the end. Now I'm in the game, I was on the bench. On the bench. First I was renting, now I'm collecting rent. Run it up. First it with the beamer, now I want the bands. Spending all the back, like here I go again. I go again. Outside says the chirp, not a camera phone. Told you I'ma make, keep the channels on. Why you acting different when the camera's on? Why you acting different like your paper long? Eight day wake up and I thank God. Bad decision got you wishing you could say nah. My city gritty, you could get hit any day now. Nah. On my mama, I'ma move, I finally wait out. With some twenties, fifties, hundreds, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, zillions. I'm talking Amazon money, talking so much money I could mess around and buy Amazon. I been winning, I'm like why me? I heard these labels wanna buy me. I don't need you, boo. These pieces look so good. I just wanted to stop and show you guys. I mean, look at the carbon fiber on this. And it looks OEM. If you get it perfectly to where none of the old trim is showing on any of the edges, like this one, it looks like an OEM carbon fiber door handle. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Me told me take a break. I keep going to the paper straight. Then it's trips out to Montego Bay. If I take the job, bet I get it done. I said it before, I'm a one of one. I just caught some ones, only wearing ones. Fornicate the funds, money made me calm. Diamonds on your neck, bet they on your neck. You want that watch, you better rock and You want the chain, you better cop a vest. You want the check, but can you make it stretch? I'm trying to touch the states this time. 2021. Yeah, show them I can still rap though. All right, everything is installed. As you can see, it looks super good. I'm very happy. The only thing that's gonna bother me is the fact that I still have wrapped parts next to real carbon fiber. So unfortunately, the overlay pack didn't come with this portion. So this one you have to order separately as well as the steering wheel trim right here. So, but just, just look at the difference. You can tell that's the wrap obviously compared to real carbon fiber. There is just no comparison at all. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and order this trim. And for the steering wheel, I don't know. I don't know if I wanna order the carbon fiber overlay trim or get this a different color. I'll probably just take the carbon fiber wrap off of it for now, but honestly, I'll probably leave it chrome until I figure out what I wanna do with that because I don't think I wanna go carbon fiber there. Just because there's already a lot going on right here and uh, I just don't think the carbon fiber blends with the steering wheel. So probably unwrap it, leave it silver to match these little accents right here for right now, but more to come on that. The door handles look great too. So when I first ordered the overlay trim and it first came in, I was, Honestly, not too impressed. I was like, dang, this pretty much looks like the carbon fiber wrap that I already have in there. But after installing everything and seeing it inside the vehicle, night and day difference. As I mentioned before earlier in the video, nothing compares to real carbon fiber. It's very hard to find a wrap that looks very, very close to carbon fiber. So in my opinion, if your BMW doesn't already come with a carbon fiber interior and you have the extra money to spend, just go ahead and get the real carbon fiber overlays. It completely changes the inside of the vehicle and it doesn't make it look cheap. You know, for a while I've been rocking the carbon fiber wrap, but honestly it makes the interior look cheap. But now that I have real carbon fiber in here, it just makes the interior look that much better. And it actually looks like a BMW's interior instead of the cheap wrap. All right guys, so as you guys just saw, the real carbon fiber overlay looks a lot better than the carbon fiber wrap that I used to have in there. So I'm super happy with how it turned out. Once again, huge shout out to Keys Motorsports for getting this sent out to me for a great price. If you guys are needing carbon fiber overlay for your interior or anything else, please check them out at keysmotorsports.com. But just like that, that wraps up today's video. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video or helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, remember your goals and don't give up until you reach them. Peace. Excited just to see me, wish I felt the same way. Later on, I should probably get a name change. People changing on me like they gain weight